from all the storm we're anticipating this weekend won't bring anything too staggering in the way of snow. All it takes, you guys know, this is one good storm and the right atmospheric conditions to turn Pennsylvania into a winter wonderland. But did you know that not all storms are created equal? Allow me to explain. Living in Pennsylvania, it's not unlikely that you've thrown around terms like clipper, nor'easter, and of course, blizzard, 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 blizzard. But while all of those storms have the potential to produce snow, they're all drastically different. Let's start small. Most of them are referred to as Alberta clippers because they generally come from the Alberta province in Canada. Clipper systems are physically small and relatively speedy. They have very limited moisture overall and are moving very quick. But they can still drop a few inches of snow and are often accompanied by colder than average temperatures. It really differs from our larger uh, wetter storms that come out of the south. Speaking of rain and snow, one of those larger, wetter storm systems has become quite a buzzword. It's kind of like a jargon term, really. That term is nor'easter, and contrary to popular belief, it doesn't form specifically in the northeast, and it doesn't always mean snow. Well, they can happen as early as September and as late as May. Nor'easters are large, low-pressure systems that form on the coast and result in northeasterly winds inland. During the warmer months like September, October, April, and May, the precipitation that falls with a nor'easter will likely be rain. But as it gets colder... When it's cold enough, those are our most prolific snow producers in northeast Pennsylvania. And while a big snow producer like a nor'easter could have an impact on visibility, when we're talking about visibility, we're really talking about the dreaded B word. A lot of uh, winter storms are described as blizzards, but there is a uh, very strict uh, definition for a blizzard that has to be met. Part of that definition may surprise you. For a storm to have blizzard conditions, it doesn't actually have to be producing snow. Falling and or blowing snow. But it does have to have a serious effect on visibility. Winds have to gust over 35 miles per hour for three hours or more. And visibility has to drop to a quarter mile. Put that in reference of a quarter mile, that means you have trouble seeing out the front of your window. But whatever the weather and whichever the storm, what matters most is that you're prepared for what's ahead. You can see the Eyewitness Weather Team's full winter outlook on Tuesday, November 26th. And of course, you can always learn more about staying safe during severe weather and winter weather in our Winter Weather Handbook on PAHomepage.com.